how does it feel to be young, married to your best friend? <laughs> Ooh, look at this one! <laughs> hello everybody hello 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 welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're here for the first time welcome if you're a returning subscriber or a veteran in this channel welcome back for yet another exciting episode of risk money and insurance so this one is just a vlog um i'm going to meet with one of my friends um from uni and we're just gonna catch up so i thought let me take you guys along and hook you up in the spaces that i find myself in because trust me honey this is going to be a good one and we're just waiting for my friend you look beautiful can we talk about the glow can you oh oh my gosh can you talk about how beautiful you are this is this person Really? Oh, How are you? Man, oh, I miss you so much. Don't worry, we can we can do cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh okay, it's it's not working. It's not working. No, it, it's it's I don't know, is, is it me or is it you? You have to no. under the thing. Oh my god. No, I feel like this is plastic, this is okay? <laughs> Married to your best friend. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. Ciao. Oh my god, it's literally the best. It's mm -hmm. literally. I feel like I'm right where I'm meant to be. Like, uh, this is God's way of saying, I see you, I love you. Uh, and I feel like people have different ways. Like when they going up their career ladder and yep. when they getting jobs, when they get this holiday they've been wanting, when they win something, when they get a book deal and whatever. But yeah. for, for me, you. I feel like this is this is it. Like yeah. is, and the thing is like people always like make marriage seem so scary. And I was so scared of it. Right. So like, even even with your you. bridal shower, they even, were scaring you. It, with, yeah, with some of some some like some of it. Some oh, okay. of the content was scary. Some uh, was some was chill. Okay. And I was just like, yo, will I cope? <laughs> <laughs> will I survive this? <laughs> will I survive? <laughs> what if but, I got it myself into? Exactly, but it's actually so nice. It's like okay. literally the best. It's so like it's smooth sailing and God God gives you grace, you know, oh. when you're where you're supposed to be. Yeah. And when you do things his way. Like yes. you get so much favor, you get so much grace in that season. Yes. So I wish that for every single one of you, you oh, was come you on. That. Come I on. Wish, I wish you that. Come on. Before you get into other topics, <laughs> she's asking about my crush. Who am I crushing on? Don't you guys want to know? Who am I Don't crushing you guys on? Know? Guys, it's a mystery. It, it, it's a it's a mystery. Who no, they want to know, and I am being an advocate for the people. Okay. <laughs> the people have to give me money for me to disclose oh my God. who I'm actually crushing on. Oh my God. In this channel, we'll talk about money, risk, <laughs> and insurance. So I feel I need no, no. money. Oh my God. I can't God. disclose my crush oh without my money. God. No way. So I was saying, mm -hmm. in this channel, we talk about risk, money, and insurance. Yeah. So a lot of people actually say like one major ad adjustment that yeah. they need to make is actually when it comes to finances mm -hmm. because there's a spender and there is a saver in like almost all the relationships. Yeah. Even though it might not be extreme, yeah. but then you yeah. find that there's someone who wants to save yes. every cent. Yes. And then there's maybe low who wants to spend every that minute. That is very true. Actually, <laughs> so how do how does that work? How do you how do you what would you say yeah. um, that that adjustment has been like for you? Yeah, I think for me it hasn't been hard because yeah. 
like I've always known that mm -hmm. Sipo's good with money. Like okay. it's always been a thing. So yeah, so you know. I was surprised. just like, you know what? You're gonna handle the finances mm -hmm. and then I will like we'll play it according to our strengths yes. in the relationship. So yeah. he's good with money. He handles our finances, our investments, all of those things like so it wasn't a hard adjustment for me. I was actually thankful. And even when we were dating, yeah. like I would give him some of my savings for him to invest for me because yeah. he knew yeah. where the place are. So it was a relief because I was like, yo, how, how well was I going to save my money? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's working oh, out for you. Oh, yeah, it was working out for me because like, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I like spending. I, I'm And I'm generous. <laughs> this is the thing, I'm generous. generous. Like, I like giving, I like mm. spending and whatever. And so you need that one person who's gonna be like, okay, Listen. you can give, but like this is the money. This money we're already taking away, yeah, and we're putting it away, and it's gonna grow. Yeah. So yeah, so that's how the adjustment was fine because I was, I, I was like, oh, thank God, thank God, thank Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 We see you. We yes. see you. So I feel like this is one of those cases where two is actually better than one. Yeah. In, in so many ways and on so many levels yeah. say like it's literally better than one yeah definitely i'm thinking double rent you no longer have to you know you don't need to pay like you see what i'm saying two times you the see rent. what i'm saying groceries is no, like that. and and you know this is why people fight and said as well oh yeah i'm not coming for you guys but i'm just saying that <laughs> it you know to fight and said it makes economical sense right yeah it does but spiritually it, yeah it's it, it's really not god's way and the thing is i've experienced so much grace and favor in my life yeah by doing things god's way, it's way. that yeah. literally it's just been it's bliss, man. It's yeah. bliss when when he says this. Is how you? Because it feels restricted at first. Yeah. It feels restricted. It's like, oh Lord, like you are so difficult. Yeah. But it like there's so much favor and grace. Mm. So yeah, it even marriage. It makes economical sense. It yeah. makes spiritual sense. Yeah. So brother, if you have, if hey, you're watching this, and you brother, have a girlfriend, talk to the brother. Talk to the brother. You have a girlfriend that you've been dating for so long. Yeah. And you know you want to marry that person, and finances are available. Like, mm. do the things. You know. Do the things. You can even ask Sipo how to propose. <laughs> He's good at it. <laughs> we have evidence. We have evidence. We have evidence. You have evidence. See, you can go to Google and Sipo's YouTube channel. Check how he proposed. Yes. yes. You can go check out that channel. I see what you did, baby. <laughs> Back it on my channel, girl. I see you. I see what you're doing. No, but but that is so true. And I feel like, do you, do you feel that financial security is important? Yeah, no, before definitely. Before getting married? Definitely. Like, so, okay, so... We actually have a video that's coming out soon on Ooh, like <laughs> spoiler alert on like how to get married in a year without debt. Oh, right? okay, that's yeah. But yeah, because the thing is like financial security is so important, and it's important to work on it yeah. way before you're yeah. even in a relationship. Just mm. by yourself. So keep watching Fulu's channel I'm and her videos. Tell and them how she got her hundred k investment. Tell, tell, tell them. Keep watching it because it's so important. Like. Mm to be financially secure in yourself first yeah and that even helps you in your marriage like weddings are expensive yeah, weddings are. are so expensive and you don't want to go if i may marriage. ask though how yeah. i saw your dress yes. how much was your wedding oh my so, god so. i don't think i can disclose <laughs> because you know the designer I knew. Yes, you know, I knew. Such things, guys. Yes, I knew. I, knew. I was just like, this is an opportunity of a life that we we must know the numbers right no, now. We got this mm -hmm. clothes. Ask yeah. Vonnie designer if yeah. you want to know the price. No, I I know Vonnie's good. Yeah, he is. But good. he's very expensive. So, <laughs> but he does the things like, yeah, he, and the thing yeah. is, you want someone who you know is good is secure as well for you for your oh, vision sure. will bring your vision to life. Yes, and also is like going to bring it on the day yeah like before time because yeah yo, your designers yo, and stories we yo, know hey we know yeah. those stories so yeah definitely okay we see you enjoying your tea there guys Roy Boss team yeah is where it's at the real african tea the real african tea the real one the real <laughs> not not this other one oh uh Fulu also has Roy Boss Frizo fancy things well, come on, guys. I mean, <laughs> I, I have robust tea at home. Some of us are just into oh, exploring. Uh, eh? Some of us are just into 
some people don't want change. Oh wow, <laughs> she's coming for me, this girl. <laughs> I didn't I didn't disclose names. Oh I just said god. some people. Oh my god. If you're touched by this uh, message, oh then maybe I'm coming for you. It's eh? not mine. I'm coming for I you. Don't <laughs> no, stop receiving, but you know, you know the truth. You know <laughs> the so real funny. truth. Oh god. Wait, there was there was also something that I wanted to ask and yeah. I forgot. Hectic. Oh yeah. Not really asked per se, but it was a thing of there was this article that I actually read where they were talking about how you know sometimes as black people we take it to another level yeah. in terms of you know we want to go big with weddings yeah. and and sometimes it's understandable because yes. if i really look at my family hey like my family is big. big and yeah. if I, I can imagine if i am to get married my when? mom would what, what do you mean when when, when Jesus to get married. When Jesus says yes. Yes. <laughs> when Jesus says but yes. But it's your heart's desire. Oh, you, yes. Okay, I believe now mm -hmm. that when I have a, a desire in my heart. Yes. That is in line with God's word. That does Amen. not dishonor his word. Yeah. Like, that he'll make it happen. He'll make it happen. Amen. Yeah, so when? Yes. When do I want to get married? No, I'm saying, you said if. So oh. I'm correct to you. I'm oh, when? when. Hey. She said when I get <laughs> Oh yeah. So when I get married, yes. right? I I know that we we are not we are not looking at fifty people yeah. coming to the wedding. Yeah. We we are looking at hundreds. Yeah. Because I know my family. Yeah. Um. And now it's not just about my family. It's also about you know the groom's family yeah. as well. So it's you the can't Lord. you can't be leaving people yeah. out. And then I feel like that's where the pressure to borrow yeah. actually comes from. So how do you navigate? Perhaps we we just like we wanna throw a sixty thousand um, rands wedding, so like yeah. our dresses and everything, food and everything combined. We don't really wanna spend much, but you have like a big family. No. Do we wait until we have enough money? No. <laughs> what do we do? I feel like my advice would be like set boundaries with your family to be like okay. First of all, obviously you have a meeting, right? Yeah. You and your your soon the to be circle. spouse. They call it a circle. Yes. Yeah. Firstly, you and your soon to be spouse would have to agree on what you guys want, right? Yes. Then have a meeting with your family and say, This is the amount of money we have. Yes. And we do not want to get married and start at minus hundred thousand when we're living together. Exactly. Because we have to get a loan. Yeah. And so forth. So with this amount, we were thinking of getting a wedding, having a wedding with like 60 guests because that's what we can afford at the time. Yeah. If you guys would like more guests, <laughs> are you willing to give? Because the thing is, one yeah. guest is 700 rand. Yeah. That's the thing. One yeah. guest is 700 rand, right? Yeah. And like, you, you can't say, ah, I'm gonna just wait. This is how we fall into sin, guys. When yeah. you're saying we can't, we're like, money is the standing in the way of us getting married. Like, yeah. No. So to be like, this is, this is our desire. This mm -hmm. is the, what we can afford. Yeah. Maybe you also meet your family halfway, right? Yeah. And say, okay, we can add twenty more people and maybe go to a venue that's four hundred rand per person. Mm. But more than that, can you guys chip in? If they're mm. willing to pay four thousand rand for ten people, yeah. then it's fine. But yeah. I, I'm against waiting for long and getting a lot of money, like. People have weddings and parks and buy pizza and sign. We can go to the magistrate court that's and get it. married. That's uh, home it. affairs. That's it. And then get married. And you guys can save together. Yeah. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it's a covenant between you guys and God. It's yeah. like marriage. That's what marriage is. It's yeah. really not this big fancy wedding. It's difficult. The wedding, that's an event. Yeah. That's Mara, an event. Do, like, you have to do premarital counseling. Well, you don't have to, but like it's really advisable yeah. for you to do it. That's mm. what we should be paying attention to more yeah. than the wedding plan. Yeah. Oh, that's important. Yeah. So wait, what did you are you are you allowed to disclose? What what would you say was like the highlights, you know, or that aha moment you had when you were doing premarital counseling? Yo, we learned so much. I mean yeah. we learned about how to deal with like your in laws, Ooh, like as a couple. Yeah. We learned about finances. Yeah. We learned about planning the wedding. Yeah. And so we did two two counseling. We did like church mm -hmm. and professionally as well oh so, that's important yeah so the professional one was more therapy like yeah. 
like yeah. finding out your part, like how your background affects your mm, You're bringing everything to your marriage. Literally. You're not leaving it behind. Exactly. Childhood trauma. Exactly. Yo. Exactly. Yeah. So you need to know what those things are. Like mm. if you have a fear of abandonment, oh. and then every time your partner like is leaving or whatever or doesn't say they love you, you yeah. feel like they're leaving you or whatever. Mm. Then you need to know where that's coming from and you need to be able to deal with that. Properly. Yeah. Yes, that's important. Sure. I I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Hallelujah. Yes, you are coming. You are coming with it. Oh, I actually love this lighting. It's amazing. How do you feel about being here? I feel happy to be here with you. Yay. Yeah. What does your diet consist of? Now you can answer. Oh yeah, I eat a lot of fruits. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of fruits. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I do have favorites, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really like um, bananas. Mm -hmm. This is not a thing, but I'm into them now. Really? It's so crazy. Yeah, I was just, I was just not a fan. Me eh? too. In fact, I was allergic to them. They'd give really? me like weird things, but now I'm not anymore. Oh, you're not. Yeah. Hectic. So yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've also just been like exploring with potatoes as well as okay. like the starch in the dish. Yeah. So potatoes, bro, you can do a lot with potatoes. Yeah. Potato but, salad, you know, fries, wedges, mesh. mesh chips exactly you can do like the, you can bake them as well mm -hmm. you can do yo, i saw this thing today mm -hmm. on instagram where you actually you boil okay you boil your your potato right mm -hmm. and then you sort of cut it into half mm -hmm. and then make like a circle inside or mm -hmm. like an oval thing and then you can put like eggs in there wow and then add something like paprika wow um, you can also add um what black pepper mm -hmm. and salt mm -hmm. and then you can bake all of them inside like wow and you can, yeah, they look so good i want to try that okay but try that and then we must vlog the experience the experience i will <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they come out right. It is. It's not tricky. Exactly. They look good, but then sometimes it just doesn't come, come out right. right. Yeah. Yeah. But hopefully we'll you know, we'll get it right. Uh, um, I try to also drink a lot of water. Mm. A trick that I use. So before like sitting down, I actually fill my bottle up with water mm. and then just put it next to my PC. Because mm. I'm just like when I see the, I know you know instead of going to the kitchen and get like yes. juice or whatever, I can just you know. Yeah, so you capitalize on, on you being lazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you do that. Um, yeah. I'm trying to cut down on, on sugar. Mm. <laughs> it's so Is it tough. working? It's I feel like I've resisted temptation. Yeah. And the temptation to buy donuts for like three weeks now. Good. So we're pushing. Because like yeah. donuts are my weakness. Really? Crispy <laughs> cream. Someone must dismantle that thing. That's funny. Yeah, I know. They, yo, they must oh sponsor you. They must sponsor with money, you? but not not donuts. Not donuts. <laughs> both. Both. Look at you both. No, Look they'll be both. enabling you. No. Oh my God. I yo. I die for crispy. I'll actually die for crispy cream. Oh wow. Yeah. But I'm I'm actually cutting down. Yeah. This is the thing I've, whenever I wanna cheat, I don't think about anything else. Yeah. Literally. You I'm want donuts. Like, Donuts will be so good right yeah. now. Even on like my worst days, yeah. I want to eat donuts. Guys. Yeah. I'm just there like, I don't care what's <laughs> happening. Donuts, bring me donuts, I'll be fine. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, no, yeah. that's that's it. That's what's it. who's your role model? I have a couple of people. Hey. Okay. So it's a it's a thing of for I different really, things. Yeah, for different things. I haven't really like found someone. With everything yeah of course yeah so you know like when it comes to career stuff that like a couple of women that look up to at work okay um, when it comes to like spiritual stuff they're also like a couple of people that I like look up to yeah including my own pasta and stuff mm. so I don't really have like a specific person okay also like when looking at the woman the woman I want to be da -da 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 -da, my mom and my sister yeah that like a lot yeah because I mean majority of the things that I know I've actually learned from them yeah so it's just like yo that question for me it's really hard to like mm. say this person that person oh, mm. if I now start like putting down names it's a lot it's be a coming never up to me like I thought I was your old boy now <laughs> What happened? Why yeah. did I make it? But I have I have a couple of people that okay. I 
I look up to. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like nice. it's good as well. You you learn, you learn kind of mm, from mm -hmm. them, from different people. That is true. Yeah. yeah. I think I'd also find it difficult to, to actually answer that. Just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you into books or movies? It's it's very really, okay. When I was at UCT, I was really into books. Okay. Like December, I would read like ten plus. Mm. You know, I was like, I need to read. I need to read. Mm -hmm. But right now, I think I'm just becoming lazy. Mm -hmm. But I still, in my spare time, I still prefer like. Let, let me not even lie. In my spare time right now, I watch Netflix. Mm. I shouldn't even lie. Mm. Um, but yeah, and that's December. fine. I feel like it's end of year fatigue at this point. Like, yeah. don't overwork yourself or be too hard exactly. on yourself. Exactly. But yeah. yeah, December when I'm chilling and I'm like not working, I'm on leave. Mm. Then that's when I can like read, like read properly. Yeah. So, but during the year with exams and work and. I, I shouldn't even lie and be yeah. like, I am reading books. It's not even a thing. Yeah. I tried. I tried like earlier on this year, but it was just <laughs> the admin was just a lot. It was too much. Yeah. yeah, you're coming from reading paper from your notes, Yo. you know, and all you have to read, you know, another book it's as a refreshment. Lot. Yeah. It didn't really feel like I'm, I was refreshing or yeah. like taking time out. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Netflix and books when I have time. Yes. <laughs> I feel that's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> How this will go. I feel like I'm going to many vegan restaurants. I'm not sure if I want to be vegan, but like, we'll see. Drink robot tea in a restaurant. Because I'm like, you can make your own at home, though. Why? Why? It's a safe option. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying out. What's this? What's this tea? Seldon or something? Clayton, Sidon, oh, whatever. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this one. Look at your actuaries, guys. Look at your actuaries. Actuaries have money, guys. I want this potion. I want this money. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>